Hey there tubers, Redneck Brian here. I just want to do a quick video on how I do my work. The way I, the way I work, um, I order parts. Whenever I order parts, I order from uh, one, one company here in my uh, city. That's the only guy I, do, I deal with. So, whenever I get into something, um, I'm going to use that snowblower as an example. As you can see from the video, that, or sorry, what I told you from the video, the inner retaining ring was broken on it but it still went back together. See, I did not know that that was broken until I took it apart to fix it. All we knew and all the customer told me that the, as far as he knew, it was the outer retaining ring was broken. So this is the way I do business. Since it went back together, I wasn't going to order the part because I don't want to be stuck with ordering a part and the customer not paying for it. So I just brought the snowblower back to the customer and he said, okay, uh, I told him about the part, and he said, okay, order it, order it. So, I could have, yeah, some of you are probably saying, oh, why didn't you go to the customer right away and said, oh, this was broken before I put it back together? Because, main reason why, is I did not want to uh, have it sitting around in parts, and it would still go back together. Because some people out there are quite cheap, and they'll just have it put back together with a broken part. And also, we, uh, as we we're, as I brought it down there, we noticed there was one other part that was uh, broken. It was for the uh, worm drive uh, that spins the chute. And he said, "Okay, can you order that for me as well?" That's a part we didn't even realize was broken. See, if I would have noticed it was broken, I would have told him. I would say, "Hey, this is broken. Do you want it replaced or not?" I don't physically replace stuff on customer stuff without them telling me. Say with the spark plug, I knew it had to be done. He said, okay, do the spark plug. So I just wanted to just do a quick video about how I do business and it works for me because for one, I don't want to be stuck with parts that I probably will never use. I can't return because uh, when, when I order something from this uh, guy, uh, he doesn't want it sitting around on his shelf. I don't blame him. So that, that's the way I do business. Um, just want to do a quick shop tour. As you can see, this whole upper area is pretty much cleaned out. It's just my bike. It's my bikes up there. And way up top, there's as you may or may not be able to see, there's a couple more bikes up there. But this area here, I'm going to turn into a sitting area for my shop. I'll keep all the mess and stuff all below. There's my generator. And then up there, I'm going to have a sitting area, and we'll move the TV up there, the big speakers. I'm going to get a couple chairs, or build, build like a bench seat of some sort. And I am getting a heater for out here. So yeah, I'm getting a heater, uh, an oil heater, as far as I know. So I, either an oil heater or an oil wood heater. I'm not 100% sure, so hopefully I can get it. Uh, a friend of mine is going to get it from his brother, he hopes, for me. And this light here is still dead. Uh, I got to still clean up my workbench. Then what I'm going to do is, if I do put everything up there, the stereo is going up there as well. The TV, obviously, the DVD player. I'm going to get a satellite receiver because if you come out maybe the outside, I do have a satellite dish on my roof, so it's not obviously not pointed. I will just probably point it to either Direct TV or Bell. Um, if I do Direct TV, I'll try to get Direct TV one working. I don't know if I can or not, but I'll probably just end up pointing it to Bell Express View, which my other dish is currently pointed to. And just gotta point it, run the line in, and go on eBay and buy a cheap receiver for 50 bucks. That will work. And I will show doing all that as well. So. So that's just a quick shop update because I, I like sitting out here. So it's not bad to sit out here, especially say if you're doing work, and come out here and sit. Also, I'm planning on getting a mini fridge just to store some water and drinks, a few drinks in there. And basically, uh, so I, I don't have to go in the house and get something from the house and I can just store everything out here. But I do have a constant power supply, even though the stereo is running off of batteries. Um, I had a comment a while back, someone was asking me, well, why don't I just get an inverter, like a, one, a 110 uh, AC to 12 volt DC, 
I'm going to eventually, but this setup that I have works very, very well. And this guy here is what charges it all. It charges all, all the batteries. And also, if I ever need a boost off of something, I got this here for a boost. I also have a jump pack. So, as I said earlier, it's starting to cool down more and more. So I can start doing more work outside. And we're going to do a quick cold start of the snow of the Troy Belt next. That's going to be my next video. And the racer is going to be coming out soon. So stay tuned for my next videos. And I don't think I'm going to be doing any more videos of that snowblower. So because it's back at the guy's house. So uh, basically I brought it back and I showed him the issues. And I said, do you want those parts ordered or not? Because some people would say no because it works fine. But some people would say yes, they want them ordered. And I didn't know, I figured he would probably say no, but he wanted them ordered, so uh, I just ordered them. So. so I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, keep it redneck. Please subscribe and comment. And that's just a little bit of a shop update and the way I do business. I think it's more, the way I feel, sorry, the way I see it, it's more of an honest way of doing it because I'm telling the customer what I found. And I spoke to someone uh, just before I did this video. They said I should have told the uh, customer right, right off. But I figured the snowblower went back together. And why go down, bug the guy once, and then go down and bug him again to drop off the snowblower. So he said he's able to put the part on himself. He just couldn't do the oil change enough in himself. So that's why I did that for him. So I'll talk to you guys later. And... Uh, Thanks for watching. Keep it redneck and please subscribe and comment.